What secrets does the Flat Earther's evidence and body language reveal? That's next. What you given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's... Hello, 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 and welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth. Good day to you all. I hope you're enjoying it on this lovely, rotating, oblate spheroid. I have a very, very special show for you today. Um, one of my favourite channels on YouTube outside of Flat Earth is a channel called Derek Van Shake, uh, and he is a body language expert. Uh, I will leave a link actually to his channel in this description because I will be using rather a lot of his footage. Uh, I would suggest you go over and uh, check the channel out and give it a subscribe. Um, he does have about 400,000 subscribers, so he, you know, he's very popular and knows his stuff. Um, usually does, you know, nothing to do with Flat Earth, uh, but he says that he found it, came across it on YouTube, and found it interesting uh, to dissect and to see if these people actually believe what they are saying. So, it's going to be a fun one. Um, I'm going to pop, you know, in and out every now and again, but mainly... I'm going to let Derek Van Shake destroy Mark Sargent's world. On with the show. The flat Earth theory, gravity does not exist. Flat Earthers believe that all imagery from the space program has been faked. They call themselves the Flat Earthers, and we're here to try to understand what's behind this unconventional view. Now, National Geographic tries to prove with science why the Flat Earthers are wrong. But scientific facts aren't going to change the minds of people whose map of the world is based almost completely on a logo. A recent survey of Americans found that 2% believe the Earth is flat. Mark Sargent, who's one of the leaders of the flat Earth community. Mark used to design video games and run software trainings. Now, he devotes himself full-time to promoting the Flat Earth. Yes, a former software guy is one of the founders of the modern Flat Earth movement. When I first saw this guy speak, his body language and verbal dynamics seemed off. So we're going to be analyzing him. This guy could be just pretending to believe the Earth is flat. This movement is about changing the world, literally. You think for the longest time that you live here. What if it wasn't this? What if this was just the illusion? We have photos from space yes. that prove that the Earth is round. Right. Mark agreed with her on something he should be very much against. We have photos from space yes. that prove that the Earth is round. Right. And his subconscious head nod was also congruent with what he just said, which emphasizes that he believes it. Now, what if he shook his head and said right? Yeah, it would come across as him not actually believing she's right, which is more in line with what we would expect of him. And nobody here believes any of that anymore. He looks over at everyone and makes a very impersonal response, as in those people don't believe that anymore, as opposed to saying we don't believe that anymore. Or, I don't believe that anymore. There's so much more on Mark when National Geographic does a flat earth test right in front of him. But first... Now I know and understand that most flat earthers will actually class Mark Sargent as a shill. Um, a paid agent working for the government to actually discredit and make flat earth look stupid. Um... It's not Mark Sargent that's making Flat Earth look stupid, um, and he certainly isn't a government agent. Uh, he just, he's probably, act, well, I hate using the word intelligent for him, but he certainly knows how to manipulate people to form a career around a lie, shall we say. Uh, this next part, though, is Derek dissecting somebody that actually does believe in Flat Earth. Um, and I would have come under this category uh, and it's just, it's hilarious to see. So let's do it. All the hard yeah. questions to everyone, and they're gonna like just love the fact that you just open. Meet Robbie Davidson. He's the CEO of the Flat Earth International Conference. When you're taught that you just came from nothing, because the scientific narrative is nothing exploded and created everything. Mm -hmm. And we're crazy. They'd rather believe that nothing created all this. When all of a sudden you start looking at the fact that maybe everything in the sky was put in place for us. 
there's value. Maybe there's something out there that's actually watching over top of us. There are many signals that indicate a person is lying. But remember, we're looking for patterns and clusters of body language signals, not just random one-off things. I personally believe that, yes, the creator is looking right down on us. The sun, moon, and stars were placed in the firmament. We believe the sun and the moon are the same size, just like they appear in the sky. Really? They say, oh, they're further away, millions really? of miles. They're the same, man. They're both lights. They do different things, but they're the same size. Whoa. I know. It is scary if you think that everything you, you you thought was true was a lie. It is. It is frightening. It's frightening. So I hear you, man. I hear you. Notice how Robbie doesn't do any self-comforting touches and holds when he's talking about the key points. He's showing congruent body language with what he says. He's not showing coaxing eye contact or diverting his eyes in key moments. He uses the word we to indicate he's personally included. No out-of-place smiles and chuckles. No partial mouth covering or eyes squinting and rubbing at key moments. Those are just a few of the signs that I'm looking for. Robbie truly believes the Earth is flat. Now, back to Nat Geo trying to prove that the Earth is round to Mark Sargent and his flat earther friends. Okay, this is the boat base target. It's horizontal stripes. Uh -huh. We're going to launch a small boat out into the water here with a striped target. Come on, Betty! Come on, Betty! And as it gets farther and farther out, you'll start to lose the stripes. And what's really interesting is that uh, some of the flat earthers, including Mark Sargent, are actually going to be here for this test. They want to see it for themselves. Don't laugh at Mark Sargent's t-shirt. I'm sure there's a logical, non-narcissist reason for him wearing that. No. What do you think is going to happen here today? I appreciate a scientific group coming out and trying to do this test. Great. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but cannot work. Cannot work. All they get out of Mark is a vague, cannot work. They should have asked him what he expects the outcome of the experiment to be, so they can have him on record with something very specific. For example, I expect no color bars to disappear at all. That's more specific, but of course, Mark isn't going to voluntarily corner himself like that. Okay, so the test is starting. The test is starting right now. At first, all the stripes are clearly visible. But sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. Caused about one and a half stripes. Right. So this can only happen why? Because of the curvature of the Earth. So then here's what we're shooting. But Mark Sargent and the other flat earthers have a very different interpretation of the results. So you don't think that what we're seeing is actually real? You think it's because of... Yeah. Heat. Oh, absolutely heat. Mark looks away and up, shaking his head no, incongruent with his words. This indicates that he likely doesn't truly believe what he just said. Typically, the word absolutely is combined with a head nod, not a head shake like he just did. Unless you're saying absolutely no, which seems to be what he believes and is communicating. Absolutely heat. Does anyone here on Flat Earth believe it's a globe? It's still flat. No, it's Anyone, not, raise a hand. It's not a pair either. This is a demonstration. It doesn't change anything oh, for you. Lord, no. Mark, do you really believe this stuff? Tell me the truth. I, I'm serious. I, Mark was coming across as so deceptive that even the interviewer picked up on it. Watch again. See if you can pick it out for yourself, and then I'll point it out for you. It doesn't change anything oh, for you. Lord, no. Mark, do you really believe this stuff? Tell me the truth. I'm serious. I, I, when she asks Mark that, he bursts out in a duping smile and submissively looks down bashfully for feeling like she just called. Mark, 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 Mark. Mr. Globe Earther. Him, while he's also using that looking down to conceal his smile. Now in this next part, see if you can pick out some of the deception indications for yourself. I absolutely 100% believe we are not on a globe. We are part of a giant studio set. Uh, all the world's a stage and you're on it. First, he starts out saying, I absolutely 100% believe. He seems to be trying to convince and not just convey. Then he seems to be indicating deceit when he starts shaking his head no as he's talking about something that should be very core to him. I want you all to try this. Say something that you truly believe. It could be something with your religion, a loved one, but say it with a head shake. How did you feel when you did that? For example, I love my wife. How sincere was that? You're probably thinking I'm either being sarcastic or maybe there's something about her I don't really love. So why is Mark seemingly pretending to be a flat earther? Probably fame, fortune, getting ignorant people to believe something for his own personal gain by 
triggering their emotions. So this is for me where I think it gets really dangerous because we're going back into the dark ages, right? You're essentially perpetuating ignorance by denying science. You know, there's a real life implication in all of this. Science has had its chance and they aren't putting up a defense. She looks so confused. Mark's diverting by deflecting it back at her. Have you ever confronted someone who you knew was lying and they started to accuse you of what you just accused them of? Mark is doing that. The scientific community just set up this whole scientific experiment, invited Mark and other flat earthers to see it for themselves. They prove the earth is round. And yet Mark is saying science isn't putting up a defense? The flat earthers are the ones who completely lack evidence in any scientific studies. Well, actually, they have explanations and, of course, ran their own very sophisticated experiments. Watch. Daryl Marble packed a level on a flight to test if the plane was flying parallel to a flat Earth. <laughs> no laughing is allowed. We can't cloud our judgment when we're evaluating this man's scientific evidence. And that's a little basic. I know. It's so simple, it'll go right over your head. Circumnavigation is really just a flat circle path. They argue that gravity as we know it simply doesn't exist. The flat disk of Earth is merely accelerating up at 9.8 meters per second. Gravity is a deception. The sun and the moon are these transcendental cymatic luminaries. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, gyrating? No, I'm pretty rock solid. They're lying. I ain't buying. So who's who's they? Oh boy, get ready for it. Well, basically, uh, Satan, Illuminati, Bilderbergs, Trilateral Commission, Vatican, Zionists, NASA of Jesuits, Freemasons. So we clearly have two camps within Flat Earth: the true believers and the non-believers. Um, it seems that. You know, there obviously are people sort of high up within the community that are fully in the belief of a flat earth. Um, and I have stated before, actually, that I actually have no problem at all if you believe the earth is flat. Like, just like I have no problem if you are a Christian that believes in God. But it is when you start pushing these beliefs onto people, uh, especially if they you know, they have no interest, but by the end, you've basically changed their whole life path. Um, and that's where I step in. Uh, like I say, if you just believe the earth is flat, fair enough, I don't care. But it's when you sit here on YouTube, uh, telling lies and making money from it and destroying lives. That's what I don't like. And that's why I'm coming for you. Keep safe, keep it global, and keep on the attack. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed.